All right, today's video is for all you music producers out there and today's question is what makes a great laptop for music production in 2021 and how to choose one? Let me explain. Hello there people of the internet, my name is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Now talking about music production laptops, it's extremely easy for me to just give you the model numbers and ask you to buy them. But the fact of the matter is that laptop manufacturers are constantly improving and updating their lineups of laptops with a lot of newer models by simply changing a few things here and there like the look of it and doing some minor upgrades and giving it a new name. But the fact is that the essentials remain the same. Essentials such as the CPU or the processor, the RAM or the memory and the storage and the screen size. These four things are the factors that determine what makes a great laptop for music production. It's absolutely important to understand what is really required to run your music production software smoothly and be more productive while working. So if you're planning to buy a laptop for music production, just watch this video till the end and you will know what configuration is required for you to buy or choose your next laptop for music production. All right, let's start by talking about the most important component of a computer and that is the processor or the CPU. Now when it comes to processors, you can choose between Intel, AMD and ARM based chips like the M1 chip by Apple. But let me tell you that Intel has passed the test of time. They are the most reliable CPUs when it comes to laptops for music production because all of the DAWs are compatible with these processors and all of the plugins that you may use to create music are all compatible with Intel. AMD processors are slightly faster but they have been known to be not very compatible with the music production softwares and in the music production world they are also considered to be less reliable when compared to Intel. They are amazing for gaming and graphic intensive uh, applications but definitely not so much for music production. But when it comes to M1 processors by Apple, they're literally the fastest and they're blowing the roof off when it comes to benchmarks and comparisons. However, they're fairly new, released less than a year ago and so not all applications are yet fully compatible with their architecture. I think you must skip these for now unless you're a producer who uses uh, Apple-based music production software like Logic Pro X. So in conclusion, the processor that I would like to recommend here today is Intel. In Intel, I would recommend you go for the 7th series which is the i7 processor and with at least 4 cores. Now cores is something that you really need to focus on. The more the cores, the better the processor and the faster the performance. The number of cores in a processor is more important than the gigahertz because think of a core like one processor and when I say quad core or four cores, it's almost like having four processors in one and that is extremely beneficial when recording music because you have more processing power. But if you're on a budget, you can actually go for the i5 processor keeping few things in mind and I will talk about that in one of my future videos. So if you're interested in that budget laptops for music production, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that. All right, now let's talk about the memory or the RAM. So most people think that you need a lot of RAM in your computer for music production. Well, that is not actually true. All right, let me explain. If you're a producer who uses a lot of synthesizer based instruments to make music, then you need a lot of processing power and less of RAM. But if you're a producer who uses a lot of sample based instruments like contact, that is when you will need a lot of RAM and not much of a CPU power. So choose the RAM based on the kind of producer you are. But in 2021, I would strongly recommend that you go for at least 16 GBs of RAM because now you will be able to do a bit of multitasking along with your music production like making a track while surfing the web or opening a few Chrome tabs at the same time. But if you're on a budget, even an 8 GB RAM is more than enough. But make sure that when you're producing music, try not to open other applications in the background. Alright, now let's talk about storage. 
In a music production laptop, storage is essential because sooner or later, you will definitely run out of space. A lot of sample-based plugins eat up a lot of space on your drive. Now, when it comes to storage, storage comes in two types. One is a solid state drive, which is an SSD, and the other is a hard disk drive, which is the HDD. SSDs are a lot faster and a bit expensive when compared to the HDDs. And the HDDs are slower, but they offer more space at a less price. So in 2021, I would strongly recommend that you go for a 1TB SSD or a laptop that offers a 500GB SSD and a 1TB HDD. But make sure that the hard disk runs at at least 7200 RPM because anything slower than that is just not enough for music production. A primary SSD running your operating system and the music production application will make the whole experience a lot faster and smoother. Now let's talk about the screen. Screen size. Well, it's considered that the bigger the screen, the better when it comes to music production because you will be able to see a lot more. But the fact is, when the size becomes big, you are no longer in the laptop territory. You're going into the desktop territory. Bigger laptop is, is just not a laptop. It's like a portable desktop. So try not to go for above 14 or 15 inches. And I think that is more than enough. If you really want more screen size, you can actually opt for an external screen and use Use that. Also, if you are opting for an external screen, then you can also go for an external mouse and a keyboard so that you can plug in your laptop with the display and the mouse and the keyboard, keep it a bit away and also use that screen and have like a little dual screen setup and you'll be able to comfortably use your keyboard and the mouse to do whatever you're doing on the music production software. So those are the four factors to consider while choosing a laptop for music productions. I have a few recommendations that I've listed down in the description box below. If you're interested to purchase them, you can click on that link and buy these laptops for yourself. Now I would like to take a moment to talk about one of the most controversial topics, which is Mac or PC. Which operating system to choose? Well, you see most DAWs and most sound cards are compatible with both of these platforms. So it totally comes down to your choice and your budget because Apple computers are slightly more expensive when compared to Windows based computers. But one thing that you should know is that Logic Pro X, which is an Apple based DAW, runs like a charm on Apple computers and even better on the M1 MacBooks. So if Logic is what you choose, then the only option you have is to go for an Apple computer. But if you use any other DAW like an Ableton or FL Studio, then the choice is completely yours. You can choose either a Mac or a PC. But which DAW to choose? Well, that is a topic for a completely different video. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload that video. Now, if you happen to choose a Mac over Windows, I want to caution you with a few things. Please remember that you should not opt for any Mac computer which was purchased after the mid 2015 model and the early 2019 model, okay? Please do not buy any of the laptops within this range because these laptops have a lot of problems heating issues battery problems keyboard issues they don't have usb a ports they don't have an sd card a lot of problems when it comes to a laptop for music production i have friends who had one of these laptops and they have never been that frustrated i've seen them really upset with choosing that laptop so if you want to go for a mac computer if you're buying it secondhand go for the one which is the mid 2015 model or if you want to buy the newer macs you can opt for the 2019 16 inch intel based macbook but if you are totally into the apple ecosystem and you want to use logic that is when you can go for the m1 uh, macbooks but i would recommend that you wait for a few more months till the apple m1 x or the m2 chip comes out so that better compatibility is offered from Apple and other applications. Now, as I mentioned, my recommended laptops are mentioned in the description box below. But if you would like me to make a dedicated video showcasing all of these laptops, which I would recommend, then please let me know in the comment section below. And I will definitely make a video for maybe the top five or the top 10 laptops for music production in 2021. Well, there you have it. Now I hope that you have a fair understanding of what specifications to choose when you're opting for a laptop for music production. Also, one important thing I wanted to mention is that a gaming computer is not always a good idea. A gaming computer is designed to make a 
or run graphic intensive applications like games and many other applications like Photoshop, etc. But for music production, you don't really need uh, that much of graphics and a gaming computer comes with a specific or a dedicated graphics card and that eats up a lot of the energy from the battery and it also runs a lot louder and you know it delivers and or dissipates a lot of heat so it's not really an ideal laptop when it comes to music production try to opt for a quieter laptop with not much of graphics because definitely you don't need graphics card for music production so a gaming laptop is not really recommended well there you have it i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new if you guys did please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and while you're at it it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time i upload a new video that's been it my name is deep and i will see you guys in the next one happy to help